Okay, toll-free number to join us on air is 877-590-5525, 877-590-5525. It didn't get any real coverage, the uh, impeachment hearing that happened Friday, but they couldn't use the word impeachment because it was only a preliminary hearing to uh, see if the committee wants to have a full-blown investigation. And for anybody that actually knows about the Bill of Rights Constitution, to ask if we need to have a hearing about whether the Constitution has been violated or broken, which demands impeachment, is just ridiculous. Uh, on its face, um, the FISA law uh, was literally just a blank check. It already was a violation of the Fourth Amendment, but now they've completely gotten rid of just going and getting blank checks within three months after they have uh, violated somebody's Fourth Amendment. Before they could just go get a blank check, uh, the judges never, uh, out of tens of thousands of cases, there was less than 20 cases where they had said no uh, to these uh, to supposedly fight terrorism. And every time you investigate, it's the government controlling the terrorists, that is, criminal elements of the government. And so on its face, remember the White House lied and told the public, we're not spying on American citizens, we're not doing it without warrants, and then it came out they were. Then they said, pass a law retroactively to protect us from the crimes that we have committed. And Congress then went and a few weeks ago did pass that law. But but still, it is a moral judgment and the conscience of the Congress, uh, regardless if they've now gone back and themselves committed a crime against the Constitution and, quote, legalized this. You're saying, wait a minute, how do they commit a crime if they legalize a crime they already committed? Well, Hitler could legalize uh, grabbing Jews and taking them to forced labor camps and working them to death. But the organic, grassroots, uh, human rights, or God-given rights, depending on which perspective you look at it, but the organic rights spring uh, from your fact that you are a intelligent creature, a creation that has intelligence and is conscious, and that uh, just because some king is wearing a gold crown and has enforcers, and just because they say under force majeure or force majeure that they have a right to uh, might makes right and come out and kill you is a fraud, is a complete and total fraud. I hope this makes sense to people, folks. Uh, the United States is supposedly special and wonderful and a great place because we had a Bill of Rights and Constitution. You know, they passed the Patriot Act that said the government can break into your house without a warrant in non-terror-related cases. And the White House lawyers would get up on TV and say, oh, those other constitutional lawyers and people saying this affects U.S. citizens, they're liars and conspiracy theorists. But if you Google... Patriot Act used in non-terror-related cases or Patriot Act used for regular crimes, you will get hundreds of news articles and read about states. I remember reading AP headlines where in, in different states it had been used tens of thousands of times per state, not having due process, violating people's rights. I mean, this is happening. It's a fact. But then the White House just says, doesn't exist. Just like Bill Clinton would say the New World Order doesn't exist. Just like George Bush Sr. says it doesn't exist, even though he gave speeches calling for it. They treat you like children. They're a powerful corporate interest that have gained control of our government, and they want to get rid of the checks and balances that block them from setting up a tyranny. Why do corporations, the big Fortune 100, want a tyranny? Because if they can come in and have a corporate takeover of your government, that's all tyranny is, and then they don't just have money and power, they have armies. They have intelligence agencies, and they have the power to tax you and extract your wealth and your labor for their own ends. Take the British East India Company. It is the modern uh, forerunner. It is the great granddaddy of corporate fascism. As Mussolini said, fascism should be properly termed corporatism. That doesn't mean if you have a corporation for a chain of restaurants or a corporation for a chain of car dealers that you're an evil corporation. I'm, I'm talking about the big mega corporations, the Fortune 100, which if you really look at their board of directors, they're interlocking. It's more like the Fortune 20, and they meet repeatedly every year, and they set agendas. We've sent spies to these events. I've snuck into these events. I've gotten their documents. I've interviewed people that have covered it. Yes, we scale fences and steal documents, ladies and gentlemen. We do it as investigative journalists to expose these people, and it's completely moral what we do. 
By we, I mean Jim Tucker and many other investigative journalists. I snuck into Bohemian Grove and covered the rituals, not just corp- corporate activity, but the rituals being conducted there. And I saw a news article last week out of Austin making fun of me about Bohemian Grove, and I saw comments on it, and I, and I saw an, another story that said I was lying that it doesn't even exist, and I didn't sneak into the Bohemian Grove when the Bohemian Grove has been in a national television production that aired in, on uh, Channel 4 in England and Trio Network here in the U.S., where they admit I snuck in and they've given interviews to, to security. Security's given interviews, Bohemian Grove security, the media is saying I did sneak in, but the public just says, no, it doesn't exist. Well, okay, you better not read Vanity Fair then, because their new issue just out is about how the editor of Vanity Fair, the editor of Vanity Fair, was arrested trying to sneak in two and a half weeks ago because the main encampment goes on July 15th to July 30th. You know, I'd always read about how Republican leaders and Christian conservative leaders predominantly go there. It's it's a, quote, you know, Republican power structure, two-week shindig in Northern California for over 100 years. And, you know, 10, 12 years ago, I even laughed at this when I was first on air 13 years ago. I remember laughing at it until I saw the Harper's Magazine article about with Richard Nixon saying, I don't take part in the gay orgies there. Well, people then accused Harper's a few years ago of that not being a real tape. So the Harper's released, what, three years ago, that tape, and then the Nixon Library released it, and I can't play it here. It's so pornographic. You can just type in Nixon Bohemian Grove tape into Google. It's it's on Infowars.com and PrisonPlanet.com, but just 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 Google it. And you can go listen and read the Harper's article. And then, look, the only point I'm making is the terms you hear mean nothing. Liberal, conservative. It means nothing. It's a group of super decadent, powerful corporate leaders and, and private families that are shareholders who think they're God act like they're God. We're about to start World War III. We're going to come back, go to Heidi, Randy, Scott, Eric, and many others about impeachment, the blackout there. Then later in the next hour, play a bunch of clips that were blacked out in the news from the event. Infowars.com, truthnews.com. Those are just some of the sites. We'll be right back. Keep on morning.